Students from Doan University saw that advertisement to head to D.C. to watch history firsthand. They jumped on the opportunity. Regardless of whether whatever happens in the next four years, it's still a historical moment and seeing an inauguration is not an opportunity that not a lot of people get, especially when you're not from that area. It's just going to be very interesting because of the divide over the country. And this past election cycle brought out strong emotions from both major parties, and the students are expecting to see that in D.C. The inauguration itself, I assume, will run very smoothly, just like it always does, but leading up to that and kind of some of the events around the outskirts will probably be a little bit more interesting. Student Zach Renshaw says he can see from the protesters' point of view, but he's optimistic for the future. Now that he's present, now it's time to kind of get over the fact that the election's over. Now it's time for us to work forward and start pushing for things that we think need to be done. It's fantastic. This is my fifth inauguration. Associate Professor David Swartzlander teaches journalism. He's thrilled the students are able to be exposed to this moment. They'll just learn so much about our country um, and what it means to be a citizen and how people should all be involved in building the country um, and making it, uh, you know, the great country that it is. For more information on the inauguration, we posted everything on KETV.com. Reporting in Omaha, Alex Lisi, KETV News Watch 7.